Hello and welcome to another episode of the BA News Show, your weekly news show every Friday at five with your hosts, me, I'm Rich, and Tabs. Happy Friday, everyone. Now, what was a quiet week in general news, and it's been quite a big week for the uh, PS5, which we had the big reveal of yesterday or tomorrow, if you're when we're now filming. Hmm, get your head around that one. But before we dive into this week's news, um, Tabs, what have you been playing this week? Yeah, let's just explain that better, Rich. So we're filming on a Wednesday, aren't we, this week? Because we've got a live reaction planned for the PS5 reveal event on the Thursday. And this is, of course, going to be live on the channel or posted on the channel on Friday at 5 p.m. So that's the... Uh, the time machine of uh, Binary Arcadia. So yeah, what I've been playing this week, my friend, I've been playing, oh, guess, just guess. Uh, Witcher, um, Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, bang on. So Witcher 3, still um, pummeling that. I, I, I think I might be nearing the end of it. I've cool. basically got to, I've gone back home, Geralt's kind of home, I think it's called, is it Cairn Morn or something like that? It's like mm. a castle fortress and I've got to defend it. So if any Witcher fans out there, you might know roughly where I'm in the game. It feels like I've put 80 hours plus in at this point. So I'm thinking I've got to be nearing the end of the, the base game. But then I've got expansion packs. And then GTA Online, as you know, Rich, feels like we've uh, it's been a few days since we've played. But yeah, we've, uh, we've been diddling with a few heists, haven't we? We um, have indeed, yeah. And it's I mean, been really fun, really enjoyable. It's really interesting, Lee. I've basically been having to pull tabs away from The Witcher to play Grand Theft Auto, which uh, I think is quite amusing. But but yeah, but uh, again, I've mainly been playing um, Grand Theft Auto. To be honest, it's been a mega busy week so far. Um, so I've not actually played much game. Like Tab says, I don't think we've played since Sunday or so. Um, so quite a week for me, games this week. Um, hopefully get all this busy work out of the way before next Friday when uh, The Last of Us is out. So, uh, Last of Us Part 2, should I say. So, so yeah, that, that's pretty much what I've been doing, really. Yeah, we should point out as well, GTA Online sessions, Rich, are characterised now by at least, what, 20 minutes of ritual bitching about the infrastructure of the game Yeah, uh, and how frustrating it is to actually get uh, get started with any oh, yeah. meaningful. It's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. But... Uh, it, the beauty is it's very fun when you play that's all I can say so sort of for me the goodness outweighs the badness for me so that's you know well what are we two three weeks in and we're still playing it aren't we so that yeah. that paints the picture for you in itself but yeah. yeah I mean hoping at some point we might bring a couple of heists to the channel uh, just to yeah show us either how rubbish we are or I don't know we're doing alright I think we've got a good team we've got a strong absolutely team. Definitely. So yeah, look out for that in the future. But it's time to head into the news. So to start off with, we have got um, the gameplay director of God of War has teased Santa Monica Studios' uh, involvement um, in the so, PS5 reveal. Yes. So yeah. so it's possible that this has already came to light by now, and you're watching this, and possibly uh, if you watched our stream from yesterday, you have seen that uh, it was revealed on the PS5 when, but uh, Jeet Shroff, um, at, uh, who is uh, at the Shroffage, uh, cracking uh, Twitter name there, um, basically said this on his Twitter, come join us as we get into the details about what the future has in store. Now, that is all he said. He didn't say what he meant by that. It's a very teasing leading comment, leading us, Chasing Shadows in the Games Industry, to think, Obviously, he means a new uh, God of War, um, but it could well very well be by now that they have debuted a new God of War, which would be, I don't know, God of War 5, but probably called God of War 2. Um, so it'll be interesting to see whether that does get um, revealed in the PS5 reveal this week. What's your thoughts, Tabs? I mean, we know, don't we? I mean, spoilers for anybody who's not played God of War. Back away now. <laughs> yeah, cross the video off. But at the end of God of War for the PlayStation 4, there's a tease, isn't there, that Thor's going to be involved, essentially. So, oh. does that mean it's going to be called God of War Thor? <laughs> nice. I don't know. Mm. Um, but I, I hope they do something of a continuation from mm. that game. You know, it'd be lovely to see 
how that uh, character arc continues between Kratos and Atreus. So, again, spoiler alert, as we now know, Rich Loki. Indeed. Um, from the first game. So, yeah, I mean, I'd love to see it. I mean, it looks amazing on a PS4. So on a PS5, it's going to look spectacular, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. I don't expect it to be a launch game. I'm, I'm presuming they're probably partway through development. Maybe they've got a trailer ready just to, you know, tickle our fancies. But, yeah, exciting <laughs> stuff. Let's, let's cross our fingers. What about uh, you, mate? Do you think uh, it will be God of War or something else? No, I think it'll be God of War, but I feel like we'll see one of those trailers where um, it looks incredible and blows your mind, and then at the end it says coming 2022 or something. I think it'll be like one of those, you know. So it hypes you up for what the PS5 is capable of, but it goes, mm, we're not really quite ready yet. You know, like those ones you see at console launches quite often, you know, big studio, big game for a franchise, and they say it's coming, but it's a while away yet, so... Yeah, this is it. I mean, I, I just hope if we do see something of it, we see a bit of gameplay as opposed yeah. to, a, you know, a, a cinematic trailer, which you, <clears throat> my, just, you can't get a lot from, can you? Yeah, I, my good feeling is we'll see something similar to um, what we saw when they um, announced um, the new Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I feel, feel like we'll see something similar to that. So uh, almost a cinematic trailer that says it's coming soon sort of thing, but just gets it in everyone's mind that it's coming to PS5. So yeah, interesting. Hopefully that, uh, that is something interesting to come. But take us into the second item tabs. So yeah, we're talking Naughty Dog. And again, we're talking about um, plagiarism ac accusations. So yeah, I think Naughty Dog have got into some hot water in the past. Um, apparently, according to this article from Push Square, um, it says whether it's a subway map or a piece of art on protagonist Nate Drake's mantelpiece, um, they've courted controversy in regards to, you know, having plagiarism accusations thrown at them. So, specifically in this uh, piece, The Last of Us Part Two um, is suffering from a similar accusation. There was a recent commercial, Rich, which I don't know if you've seen, but it's like a we're talking about cinematic trailers. It's like a cinematic trailer of Ellie kind of playing a, a guitar and sing along. Oh, okay, um, I've not seen that. Yeah, it's action oriented, but it's not it's not uh, in game. It's mm. like a cinematic, but it's um, there's a cover of New Order's True Faith, which uh, Ellie sings on it. Now, there's a, a Seattle based singer songwriter, Lot, uh, maybe Lottie Kestner, I'm going to say, uh, has kind of come out of the woodwork from um, a version, a cover version she did, I think, about 10 years ago. Now, ironically, um, the song was on the album Stolen, which uh, <laughs> is just brilliant. You know, you couldn't couldn't write that sort of headline. Amazing. But yeah, I, I, I have listened to them. Now it's they do sound very similar. I think they're stri stripped back, kind of acoustic versions of this particular song. Hmm. Um, obviously, it's a female vocal. The guitar parts, you know, I've not really picked apart, but they're similar sounding. So. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know quite where this stands from a legal point of view. Obviously, on the back of Naughty Dog's checkered history uh, regarding plagiarism, it doesn't look great. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It'd be nice to think that they maybe settle something with this uh, Lottie Kessner behind the scenes. Because, yeah, certainly her cover version 10 years back was... Uh, it looks like the inspiration for this piece, mm. whether it's coincidence or not. What about you, though, Rich? Do you make anything of that particular? Oof. I mean, blimey. I mean, but obviously, there's potential that they have, you know, actually done this. But, you know, it's like um, lots of things can sound the same. So, I mean, obviously, there's, there's a possibility that they have, like, stolen the proprietary on this one. But, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like... You know, if someone's actually out of pocket with this, then fair enough, they're right to, to say, hang on a sec, that's not right. But there just seems to be a lot of mudslinging all of the time. Well, the thing is, I don't think it was this singer-songwriter that actually noticed it. I think it was brought to her attention by other people. Mm. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Like you say, though, even subconsciously sometimes you can be influenced um, by a you know a past work that you might not even be aware of and yeah. it's just sometimes part of the creative process so we'll have to see what's made of it but obviously poor old naughty dog they're under the cosh of it aren't they with 
controversial yeah, yeah. stories and uh, negative headlines. But, you know, we're looking forward to next week, aren't we? The Last of Us Part 2. It's going Absolutely. To be Absolutely. And, you know, no all, all controversy aside, at, at this point, um, I think it's highly likely that um, The Last of Us Part 2 will at least be in the running for Game of the Year. Um, if not scoop the award itself, um, given what we've seen and what people are making of it, and the fact that they are so uh, confident about the uh, the game that they're, they're, the embargo on reviews is quite um, early on, I think it's very quick. So, yes, interesting, um, but yeah, we'll see what happens on that one. Moving on, so. Um, yeah, the interesting story, I'm not sure why this has been so widely publicised on the internet, but um, YouTuber Beat em Ups um, has left, um, with immediate effect, the Nintendo Ambassador program, um, which uh, seemingly came out of the blue without any warning, um, not really understanding why. Um, so he, this, this chap is known for his... Um, YouTube channel basically that has Wood um, Hawker is his full name, Rich. Oh, Wood Hawker, okay. Yeah. Um, his uh, YouTube channel's got nearly a million subs and it's got 200 odd uh, review videos. Um, but yeah, he's been dropped without explanation, which is interesting. And he announced this via a tweet uh, that he was ending uh, ties, um, but he'll be allowed to continue making Nintendo related content. Uh, but he won't be able to like be affiliated um, with Nintendo or use any of their branding, etc. Which I think this is very strange. It all comes out of the blue. Has there been some upset? Have they upset each other? I'm, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure where this story comes from. Why would there be such an instant ending uh, of this? Um, yeah, what do, what do you make of this, Tabs? Yeah, it's very strange. I mean, apparently he later found out from the representative of Nintendo in regards to this brand ambassador program that they're changing the format slightly um so mm. therefore you know clearly he's not part of that you know the next format the next version of this uh, ambassador program mm. but i think he thought that you know loads of other people would be affected by this but i think seemingly from what he said he's done the rounds a bit and not not many have been mm. so it's just really strange that you know he's been growing you know year on year i think he's up to as you say nearly a million subs i think he's quite you know his channel content is very much based around review videos mm. and you know he's always if, well if you watch his content he's a very enthusiastic chap um you know very jolly very positive um I, I, it's just a strange one i can't see why nintendo would have cut ties with it there is speculation he made a, a zelda breath of the wild video recently mm. which was chock block with um, mods right. and as we know Nintendo can be very protective of their intellectual property um, so people are suggesting is it that he, he himself said you know he can't believe that's the case because the kind of relationship he has with them he he would expect them to get in touch with him to say you know if we are bothered about this you know please could you take the video down yeah so on so forth so he doesn't think it's that I mean mm. You know, you just you're just guessing at this point, but mm. it does from a commercial point of view. A big popular YouTuber, he is obviously a key influencer with uh, over uh, nearly a million subs. Yeah, it seems strange for Nintendo to to ditch him like mm. this. I mean, whether we'll find out that there's just been a, a miscommunication and there's been something lost in translation, and he will be part of this new program remains to be seen. Well, but this is it, yeah. It's mm. certainly been a popular story, you know, around the, the YouTube sphere um, and, you know, gaming YouTubers as, as he's a popular high profile chap on that. So, yeah, we thought mm. we'd include it in this week's um, um, BA News Show. So let us know what you think, Barcadians, if you've got any comments on that. If you're a fan of uh, Woodhawker and, and beat em ups, we'd like to hear your perspective on it. Moves but Rich, on tabs. Yeah, so get in there now. Uh, penultimate piece. And this is essentially focused on Bioware uh, and specifically the Mass Effect franchise. So there's been some rumblings, been some rumours that there might be a, a remaster of the Mass Effect trilogy coming. Mm -hmm. And specifically perhaps for next gen? Question mark on that still. So Game Reactors... Oh, Rich. This is why I've had to do this piece, isn't it? So I can't pronounce this guy's name. I think it might be Irik Hildback Furu. <laughs> Or it might be Eric killed back through. But game, he works for Game Reactor anyway. So um, 
Apparently, they're saying that Mass Effect Trilogy uh, Remaster is scheduled to launch this fall, uh, taking the place of a brand new blockbuster EA game that would usually launch in that time frame. Mm -hmm. So Furu says that they uh, wouldn't be surprised if the Mass Effect Trilogy Remaster was announced at the upcoming EA Play event, which is currently scheduled to take place on June the 18th. So, yeah, um, interesting. Mass Effect is obviously a very popular trilogy. It would be... I think a bit of a win for next gen consoles to kind of fat out their launch libraries with i think at least the early mass effect games are very highly thought of i'm not too sure about the latter um but yeah apart from that you know i think we're also aware that bioware are working on rebooting anthem um dragon age 4 has been in development for years now so busy bees but um i don't know about you rich what, what do you think to that i know neither of us are really big mass effect fans are we but it's I, no, I'd, I'd I, check it out if it came out on the ps5 or something yeah so i've um oh absolutely i mean interestingly mass effect has historically in my mind always been a, a microsoft uh, uh game or certainly an xbox game certainly the originals were anyway and i know i spent a bit of time with uh, one of my mates uh, while he was playing mass effect and it seemed interesting uh, i got the impression it was certainly what i watched it was very samey uh, which I, and maybe that's why put, what put me off. Obviously, also the fact that I didn't have an Xbox at the time. Um, so yeah, interesting. I'd like to see what they did. I always think they look very um, grand games. So they they look like they're huge <laughs> worlds. Yeah, massive. So it, that could be exactly built purpose built for next gen. Um, but yeah, interesting. I don't know what to make of this really because I'm not really a massively into. Uh, Mass Effect, but maybe the rebooting of this and the remake of this could change my mind. So that that could be a good thing. I mean, yeah, this is it. If it's a really good remaster um, and it looks and it's brought right up to date, it could be a, a nice way to raise the profile of the the franchise again. I mean, personally, I don't know actually if it would port to the Switch, but I think there has been talk of that in the past. Would that be a better home for it? Yeah, interesting. Because if it would go, I think it'd still be an impressive title on Switch hardware. Whereas it could, if if it's not you know up to scratch in terms of a remaster, it could get lost in the crowd on the next gen consoles. This is um, it, yeah. I mean, I think it would be good on uh, Switch actually. So it's port becomes portable, and it's a game where I think it's like a lot of hours are needed to play it because there's so such a big world and so much going on. And if it went portable, you could literally dip in and out of it. You know, you're on a train or you've got some downtime. So I think actually in that respect, it would lend itself well to uh, a port to the Switch. Um, well, this is it. Follows the suit of the likes of Skyrim, of Witcher 3. Yeah. You know, it, which gives, it adds that novelty factor, doesn't it, to a game that probably people have played. But because, as you say, you can dip in, dip out of it, you know, you've got that kind of mobility with it. It often does inspire a rebuy, doesn't it, from fans of the series? This is so. it. Exactly. So yeah, I think interesting. And it, uh, to be honest, it's just good to have all these new games that people are thinking, oh, should we bring that back? We could do a bet. Maybe we do a better job of that on next gen. So it'll be interesting to see what we see coming through. You know, we've seen the likes of the Resident Evils remade to looking incredible on this generation. So it'll be interesting to see what games people think. Oh, let's do a remake of that on next gen and, and see something incredible. So. Yeah, let's just hope the PS5 reveal isn't an hour-long, you know, uh, chock full of, of remakes. Because like you point out, Resident Evil, we've heard the Silent Hill rumours. We've got Mass Effect here popping up now. You know, we want to see some fresh IP, some new material in there too. But I have hope. And Absolutely. Then finish, and finish, off, finish this off, Rich. And, uh, in unbelievable segue there from you, Tabs. Um, so we aren't going to be concentrating on the PS5 uh, event here today that was uh, this week because basically we will we'll have covered it off in our live uh, reaction to it on the evening of it. So hopefully we've seen some incredible things there and we're it's really G'd us up. I know we're both excited um, to be getting onto the pre-orders, seeing what games are around the corner and stuff. Um, so yeah, exciting. Hopefully we've seen some amazing stuff. And with an hour's worth of uh, stuff, that's got to be chock full of real interesting tidbits for us to get, get ahead round. So, so yeah, hopefully everyone caught that. And if you didn't and you're looking for some PS5 news, go there now. I'm so jealous, Rich, of our future selves. <laughs> I wish I had Bill and Ted's uh, phone booth right now so we could chip in and uh, just get a little flavour. 
little five minute flavor of what's to yeah, come. Absolutely. But yeah, go and check that out, Barcadians. Uh, video will be on the channel somewhere at the top. So there we have it. That is this week's BA News Show. Uh, if you enjoyed it, definitely give us a like. And if you uh, want to comment about any of the uh, stories in this week's BA News Show, drop us a comment down below. And that's all we've got time for. Another one for the archive. Stamped and completed. <laughs>